Namaste, everybody. And uh, I'll just have a seat. Welcome to all the people that are coming from all over the place. Also welcome and to any new attendees today. Uh, we are warmly welcoming you to our, our group of yoga, yogis, okay? So if you got the email today, uh, I mean uh, yesterday, uh, we, we were going to talk about uh, blaming others. You know, very easy to do. Something doesn't work out, you will say, ah, you know, so you always deflect, right? So, and unknowingly you do it sometimes, and sometimes rightly so. But, you know, it, it just brings a relief to you when you, when you say, oh, it was my parents' fault, or it was my this fault, or the weather fault, or you just deflect. So when you do that, what happens is you right away say that it, I'm not responsible for whatever is happening in my life. So you don't take the ownership of it so that you cannot change it then because you actually told somebody it's somebody else's problem. And by doing that, you also become a victim that, you know, in my childhood, this and this happened and that's why I'm like what I am today. So you deflected, you became a victim. You said, oh, this is not my fault. It, it was the way it was for me. And so you transfer all your, um, uh, that kind of energy to somebody else. All right, so you want to take ownership of it and it's very easy to do you when something is going not right in your life think about what is not going right yes there could be some external some external reasons for what is happening but try and internalize it and see if you can make a change through that uh, situation and take ownership of it okay and there's you know whenever that something is happening that is triggering all that feelings for you Take a deep breath, slow down, think about it, reframe. Reframing means hinjo wankwo, hinjo wankwo, hinjo wankwo. No, bring it back to yourself. Hinjo wankwo, no, because of whatever reason, they were doing it for their own reasons, but it was my my situation. So let, let bring it back to yourself, okay? So you shift, you apologize that, I'm sorry I thought that way for that person, but you're back to yourself and keep things in perspective okay so don't blow it out of context don't let it trigger others other feelings because remember we have talked about all these different feelings and at the end of the day it comes back into your own body into your own mind into your own soul and your own emotion it's detrimental so all these things that we are talking about from the last six or seven classes are little little hints of how to make changes in our own life and it's difficult but if you're aware of it it works slowly and steadily all right okay so let's sit at the edge of the chair meaning you are your legs are in front of you your toes are pointing forward knees are over ankle in a straight line all right if you can and try not uh, anchor yourself at the back if you can but just move yourself with the straight back in a little bit away from the end uh, from the back Unless if you need that uh, support, then of course, no problem. Listen to your body, don't judge yourself. All right? And bring your hands to heart, thumbs touching your sternum, right? And remember, I'll go over this again one more time. When you breathe in, you are expanding. So oh, you're getting, making room for the air to flow in. When you are exhaling, then you're taking that air out and make your, your, your tummy goes towards your spine and you release all the air out. So that breathing pattern is the right way to breathe throughout the day, not just for yoga. So inhale and exhale. Okay, so all throughout we'll be doing that kind of breathing. All right, hands to heart. Make sure you're sitting properly. Take a deep breath in, bring your arms up, 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 inhale. Inhale nice and tall. And exhale, slowly out, release all the air out, contracts, belly to spine. Inhale, up, 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 inhale, up, 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 up. If you can bring your arms near your ears, if you can, otherwise here is okay, all right? Exhale, nice and soft, slowly down, 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 back to your heart. Occasionally smile, life is good. Inhale, up, 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 inhale, right to the top. Exhale slowly everything out, all the air out, slow, exhale, exhale slow and 
bring it back to your heart. All right? One more time. Inhale. Up, 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 up. This time, separate your arms out. Palms facing each other. Exhale to one side. And then back to inhale. Exhale. Slow movements. And one way. Back to center. Other way. Back to center. Make sure you're breathing nice and tall. Inhale. Exhale, palms down. Exhale, down, 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 down. Bring your palms back. As far as you can go, look forward. Inhale, up, 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 up. Inhale. Exhale, slowly down, 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 down. Right to the back. Look forward, back straight. Inhale, up. Last one. Exhale, slowly down, 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 down. Back. And scoop up that energy up. Inhale, up, 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 up. And push it down into yourselves. Exhale, slowly down. Scoop it up. Inhale. Exhale, slowly down. One more time. Scoop up, scoop up. All the beautiful energy. Imagine and push it right through your head, back into your hearts. Inhale, one more time. Inhale, up, 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 up. Exhale, push it down, 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 down. Very good. A little bit more softer. Okay, this time bring your hands to your heart. Take a deep breath in and remember, inhale, large. We're going to count for seven. Inhale, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Open your heart back. And try and get your shoulders right to the back. Exhale, slowly forward, 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 and bring it back to your heart. So inhale, nice and large. Exhale, push the energy out, push the air out, and come back to your center, heart center. Inhale again, inhale, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Exhale slowly, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and back to your heart. Inhale one more time, inhale, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And bring your arms up, 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 up. See if you can touch. And then bring it down again to cactus. Inhale again, touch. Exhale, back to cactus. Inhale one more time. Exhale. This time bring one hand to your heart, one hand to your tummy. So you want to feel the breath of air going in and out. Remember, breath is life. So with the breath, think about what you're benefiting from the breath advantage of the breath okay so hand it one hand is on the heart one hand is on the on the stomach so you can just feel the rise and fall okay just feel it inhale feel it feel it feel it exhale sometimes we forget that we are even breathing exhale belly to spine inhale again exhale down now this time we're gonna move our arms out inhale out as far as you can go Exhale, your other arm comes on top, so reverse. Inhale out, nice and wide, and try and get as far back as possible. Exhale, the other arm comes on top. So you're reversing your arms. Inhale, nice and big, inhale, exhale, reverse. Last one, inhale, nice, big, exhale. Very good. Inhale, come back to cactus. And bring your arms together. Elbow to elbow if you can. Nice and deep breath. Inhale. Now, somebody had asked about posture. Posture obviously is a, the back part. That some people go hump like that. So what? if you want to in, make sure that your posture is nice and straight, you're going to be going far back as possible. Get your back straight. It's all the work we do on the computer all the time or even just with aging. You somehow stoop. Right? So... Push your arms back and then bring them back together. Inhale, exhale, push, 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 right to the back as far as you can. Only do what you can, don't go into any painful situations. Back again, inhale, exhale, out. Inhale, back to center, exhale, out. And this time, nice and big inhale, lift yourselves up and see if you can go down, exhale one side, one elbow up, one elbow down and come back to center. Other side, inhale. See if you can keep your uh, arms parallel to each other 
and back to center. One more time. Back down, 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 down. One second. Down and then back to center. Other side. Last one. Very good. And to center. Then bring your arms back. Inhale. And exhale down. Somebody asked me about sun salutations uh, on an email. So we will do some movements. Some salutations on the floor is different. It's very similar to on the chair. But on the, the chair is a bit different. But we can, we'll do what we can. So sun salutation, as you all know, is Suraj, Suraj Namaskar. It means you're welcoming the sun, the sunlight in the morning when, and feeling grateful for the energy that it provides us. So you salute the sun. And now we are doing it, of course, there's no sun, but it's a good habit to do Suraj Namaskar every morning, three or four times uh, movement. So it's a vinyasa movement, and this is the chair movement. And there are many, many different kinds. So I hope this one, you can also do it uh, standing up, we'll do later. So what I want you to do, bring your arms down, inhale, up, 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 up. Palms touching, exhale, nice and soft, exhale. Inhale to cactus. Exhale, come down, forward, chin forward, back straight. Inhale, up again. Exhale, bring your arms to your knees and slowly go down, 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 down as far as you can. And look down. Inhale, up back to your knees. This time, go up, inhale. Exhale, forward. Palms are facing out. And then bring them back like you're doing a... Um, Chaturanga move. So you're going back with your palms back. So your shoulder blades coming together as much as possible. Go forward again. Inhale. Exhale out. Inhale back forward. Exhale. Put your legs out. Legs out as far as you can go. And then bring your knee up to you and look down. And then force it out again and bring it down. Inhale. The other knee comes up. The other leg is straight out. Bring your knee to your, to your uh, chest and then out. And then come back down. Inhale up. Exhale slowly down, all the way down. And bring one arm up. Inhale. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Both arms come up. Inhale. And let's go back and forth. So some movements you can repeat and repeat those movements about four or five times. That would be your sun salutation. So we actually, I do all these movements without the sun salutations, but I include it in other movements, okay? In an interest of time. Inhale up again, and then go forward and back. Nice and back. So slow movements as far as your shoulders can go back, and then come back forward. And just slow movements like you are rowing a boat. And then come back down again. Look down. Bring your arms to your uh, hands towards your knees. And then roll down again. One arm goes up. Inhale. Exhale down. Other arm goes up. Inhale. Exhale down. Arms come up. And then push yourself back and forth. Inhale. Forward. And when you go back, try and get back as far. This is also good for your posture again. Inhale, exhale. One more time, inhale, exhale. Bring your uh, legs forward, stretch back in, in the forward. You can go on your heels, doesn't matter. Whatever works for you, okay? And this time, you're gonna come down and bring your knee up towards your chest, look down, push forward and down. Again, bring the other one up, inhale, exhale, and shake it up, shake it up, shake it up, shake it up. Everything out, release, release all the blame. Take your ownership of what you are responsible for, okay? It's not always that we are blaming others, but it comes naturally sometimes. He had to join it, he said this, that's why I did that, that blah, 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 blah. So it keeps going. But sometimes what you may have said could have triggered something else, right? So. Big out, arms up, give yourself a nice little hug. You're all good, love yourselves. Inhale, nice and wide. Again, go as far back as possible. And exhale, back here. Inhale, nice and wide. Exhale, back. One more time, inhale, nice and wide. Exhale, back. This time, go out and bring your arms down. One arm up, one arm down, and bring it back to down. 
One more time, inhale and exhale down. Palms together, exhale slowly down. Inhale nice and tall and bring it back to heart center. So we're gonna do inhale for seven, hold for four and then exhale for seven. Because when you inhale and then you pose and you exhale, it also slows down your mind if it's going in a monkey mind situation where you're anxious, you've got so many thoughts going, you want to do this, that, that, and the to-do list is getting bigger and bigger. And then, and I know some people, I already know who do that all the time, that their minds are crazy because they have so much to do. So calm down one at a time, inhale, hold, and exhale. We'll do a couple of those, okay? So something is going on with my video here. Inhale, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Slowly exhale. Exhale, 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 exhale. Now we're gonna count, okay? So inhale, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Hold your breath, three, two, one. Exhale slowly forward. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Hold your breath, hold your breath, hold your breath. Exhale slowly. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. One more time. Inhale. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Hold. Breath, hold your breath, hold your breath. Last one, slowly exhale. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And last one, inhale, palms together. Exhale, slowly out. So remember that breath, inhale, pose, exhale. Throughout the day, you can work on it. If you're feeling anxious, especially in times like now, you don't know where you're going with this, your mind is going and you want to slow it down. And some days you don't want to get out of bed and you want to just uh, get yourself going and you cannot do it because you are totally jammed. That time you inhale, you exhale and then you hold. So the hold comes after the exhale, not the inhale. So it's inhale, exhale, hold, inhale, exhale, hold. So these are two different ways of breathing. After we got COVID and we went, uh, we got this brochure from the hospital and in it, the breathing pattern they told us to exercise every day was inhale, hold, exhale, hold. Inhale, hold, exhale, hold. That makes your lungs go, become stronger because they are like elastic. So inhale, hold, exhale, hold. Inhale, hold, exhale. So if you practice that throughout the day, just to get your lungs stronger. All right? Okay, bring your arms out. Inhale, bring them onto your shoulder. So your, 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 your uh, fingers up, touching your shoulder. And we're gonna go rotation. One, two, three, four. See if you can touch your elbows. If you can, good. If you cannot, that's good too. One more. And let's reverse, other way. Inhale, exhale. Smile, smile, all is well. Fool your brain that you're happy. You had a beautiful Valentine's Day. You ate, you party, you wore red, you smiled a lot, and maybe you did not do anything. That's okay too. And bring your arms up again. See if you can go behind your ears a little bit. Again, very good for your posture. Exhale down, inhale up. Breathe in, exhale down. One more time, inhale up. Exhale down. This time bring your arms out and back to your shoulder. Out, nice and wide, to your shoulder. Two, three, four, and keep looking side by side. Five, side by side. Six, seven, eight, nine. Only do what you can. And last one, ten. Now go up. One, and look down. Hands are up, you're looking down. One, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, breathe, eight, nine, and last one, ten. 
Very good. Forward now. So one and back. Two and bring it back. Three, bring it back. Four, bring it back. Five, bring it back. Six, bring it back. Seven, back. Eight, back. Nine, back. And the last one, 10. Very good. And bring your arms down and shake it all out. Shake it all out. A lot of arm work here. Let's roll our shoulders a little bit. One, two, three. As far up can you can take, like proper roll up. And then you reverse it. One, two, three, four, and five. Bring one shoulder up and bring your ear close to the shoulder and then bring it down. One shoulder, other shoulder up and then bring your ear down and then back to center. So one more time, bring your shoulder up, bring your head down, and then the opposite arm, bring it out, bring it out, opposite arm. Okay, and then point it downwards and just rotate towards your shoulder. While your head is, uh, don't, don't push it down, like just do a little bit, okay? And feel that nice stretch. Again, very good for your posture. And smile, one more, and then bring it back to your uh, thighs again. Now you do the other side. Raise up your uh, your shoulder, head goes towards your shoulder. You don't have to touch, okay? Just just bend down a bit, okay? So both, this is up, this is down. Arm goes out, opposite arm, and then just rotate. Rotate, one, two. It's very good for your neck and upper back, three, and your arms, four, and five. Very good, and bring it back, and then just back to rotating, and shaking it off, shaking it out, shaking it off, okay? All right. We're gonna do our legs now. So first of all, go on your toes, go on your toes, and then go on your heels. So you can move your legs a little bit uh, uh, forward, not too forward, but just a little bit. So go on your toes and your heels, up and down, up and down, smile, back straight, down, one more time, inhale, exhale, bring your leg up and push it out, bring it up, so you can hold on to your thigh or you can just let it go and bring your core tight. Core is important for balance, for strength. So if you can hold your core but breathe and push up. Two, three, hold if you want to, no problem. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Very good and shake it up. Let's do the other foot, same thing again, you can lift it up and you can use your arms to make uh, it go forward or you can just let it go. Two, three, four, hold the core tight, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and last one, ten. Very good, and shake it up, shake it up. Okay, edge of the chair, bring your leg up and let's do a rotation of your hip. So, just lift it up. And you can hold it again under your thigh and then bring it and then rotate it or you can just rotate it on its own. But while you're doing it, try and keep your core tight. You can use the back of the chair as an anchor because everybody's different. All bodies are different, all right? And then the opposite way. Opposite way, yoga is all about balance. So we do one side, we always do the other side. Yes, that's life. And one, bring it down and shake it out. Just a bit of massage there. Lift the other leg up and let's do a rotation. One, two, three. Again, you can hold and do it. And the other side. Very good. One, two, three, four, and five. Very good. And shake it up. Now hold on to the chair with your arms at the back or to your handles if you have chair uh, arms. And slide both your feet forward, touching the ground. So it's not on my heels. I can do the heels too, but I want your feet down. So you can feel that nice stretch in your upper thigh. And, and hold on to the chair at the back. And your shoulders are pointing down there. Inhale, exhale, look up. Inhale, raise your butt up. Exhale, hold it, hold the pose, breathe through it. Inhale, exhale, breathe through it, breathe through it and slowly come down butt down all right so this is a nice stretch for your abdomen too one more time so my feet are nice and straight fully on the ground 
and I'm gonna lift myself up with my hands. Only if you can, okay? Not everybody may be able to do this, but if you can't, you can just stay there like that. But if you want to lift yourself up, lift yourself up. Very good. And look up. Very good. And then come back down. Very good. And bring your feet back to the uh, front of the chair again. And stretch it up. Okay, bring your legs up. And let's do a rotation and arms out. Let's do a rotation of your, actually bring both your feet up. And let's do a rotation of our wrists as well as our ankles, okay? So nice rotation is good because these joints are the ones that get very stiff, especially in damp weathers. And then the other way, smile. And you can still be back uh, with the support, but try and if not, then it's a little bit more workout for you. Whatever works for you, okay? Great. And now point your toes up and your, uh, your fingers up. Now point them down. Fingers, uh, toes go down, up. And when you're going up, stretch. Make sure there's room between your fingers and room between your toes. So they're all like a star. Now the star is going down. Star up, stretch, down. One more time, up, down. One last one, up and down. And then you bring it down, all together. Shake it out, shake it out. Excellent. Now we're gonna do the same thing again. Lift your legs up and see if you can bring your toes together. Very good rotation of your hips going on here. And we're gonna do the same with our arms. So rotation of our shoulders. Both areas are very important for our independence. Without anything working or we get a little bit here and there, a pain or something has happened, it is difficult to do that movement, right? So we wanna make sure everything is working. I know your frozen arms, you can see how in your frozen arm, one arm doesn't work that well. And you see how much grief that causes pain as well as doing things, right? So, bring your toes together and your fingers together. And now let's do the other way. Toes, uh, heels together and my base of my palms together. And opposite, very good. Keep doing that a couple of times. Make sure you're breathing. Very good, this is great rotation for your shoulders and your hips. Very good, and you can hold it to core tight too at the same time, right? So that it, uh, it's getting some work out there. You're breathing, but your core is tight. Very good, last one. Very good, and then bring your arms and everything down. And shake it all up, shake it all up. Now, come to the edge of the chair again, and walk yourselves out as far as you can. Walk yourself out, feel that stretch in your thigh, only do what you can. Don't go out too much because you don't want to hurt yourself. What is happening now is as we are aging, a little extra move, either strain something or you can feel the pain and you say, oh my God, now I can't even do that. So only do what you can. This is not a competition. And remember, you're doing it for yourself. You're not doing it for anybody else. So you have to be careful how you do it and how careful you are, okay? All right, bring your arms onto your knees. Okay, and then inhale, look forward, come down, ch uh, ch back is nice and straight, chin forward, chest forward. Feel that nice pull here, pull in the back, pull in the neck, inhale, exhale, round your shoulders, chin to chest. This is cat and cow, you can do this with legs uh, together or legs apart. Inhale, exhale, one more time, inhale. Exhale, round your shoulder, chin to chest. Last one, inhale, chin forward, chest forward, back straight. Exhale, round your shoulders, chin to chest. Very good. And then come up center. Bring your arms up, inhale. Nice and tall, exhale, come down, come down. You can go down and if you have hypertension, make sure your head is above your heart and you can look forward. Otherwise, you can go down and touch wherever you can. Again, inhale up. If you cannot go down, like I've told you before, you can use a block and you can touch, inhale, exhale, down, 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 touch. Inhale, up. And this uh, block is also good to put your, your feet up if you're too short to make sure that the knee and the hip are in a straight line. So you can use blocks for many, many things. You can, I'm just gonna show you a couple more things with the blocks. When you're going down, you can keep it on the side, you go up, inhale, and now this way I can touch the block. That way I can go even further. 
So this is good to have something firm and sturdy. So blocks, like I think a dollar or two dollars. So see if you can get those. Huh? Inhale nice and tall. Come down, 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 down. And walk one side. Back to center. Other side. Back side, back to center. Arms up again. Inhale. And now both arms go to one side. Touch one side and bring the arm up again. Other arm up and come down. Both arms up. Inhale. Excess, exhale, one arm goes down and the other arm goes up. And then come back down. Big inhale up. Exhale down. Come to cactus and twist. So I'm going to go look back. My, my outer arm going out and the inner arm following. Keeping it parallel if you can. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale back. One more time. Inhale. Exhale, center. One more time. Inhale. Exhale. This time, come forward. Chin forward, chest forward. And arms out. Bring your arms together. And let's do a little, uh, put your fingers into each other. Lace them together. And bring them up. Inhale. Exhale, nice. Down. Inhale. Come forward again. Inhale, up. Now keep it that way and let's do a little bit of turning with our fingers clasped together. Okay, just a little circle move. If you're moving on your, your spine, your hip, and rotating. Very good. Now change the position of your fingers. Now going this way, clasping, the, the fingers are facing you, the palm is facing you, okay? And then go back the same movement. Okay, circle, so like the gun to roll. Very good, circles, good spine movement, excellent. And bring your arms up, exhale slowly down, take a deep breath in, inhale, <sighs> let it all go, inhale, all the stuff that's hanging out there, blame, self-judgment, all the stuff that doesn't do good for you, let it go, ha, <sighs> inhale, <sighs> okay, all right, one more time, arms up, one arm goes behind the chair. Okay, hold on wherever you can. And other arm goes back again. Hold on to the chair. And then come forward. And round your shoulders. Inhale, forward. Exhale, round your shoulders. And bring your arms down again. Check it out, check it out. Very good. Okay, so now let's do our uh, sciatica moves, the back, lower back. So everybody, can do this, uh, put your uh, ankle towards the other, so like crossed, and you can stay there. And if you stay there, you can hang on to your knee, all right? Or you can lift up one, uh, one knee on top of the other, whatever works for you. So there are three versions, this is the second version. And this way you stay here. Everybody's different, so you do what you can, all right? And the third one is when you lift up your ankle and put it over your, on the thigh, okay? So then I have a little bit of space in between here and there's a stretch here. So there's three different movements. Here, you hold onto your knee and onto your, onto your ankle, right? All right, so nice and tall. Make sure you've got enough space there, big, nice inhale. Exhale, come forward. Only do what you can, chin forward, chest forward. Be very good for your lower back. This one you should do every day so that your back muscles are all flexible and stretched. And go up again but remember when you're going down if you feel any discomfort or pain that's the level you're going to stop at don't go further don't push yourself because that can hurt you all right one more time inhale nice and tall exhale chin forward chest forward right and up again this time your arms go up all right so remember any three positions are good nice and tall inhale exhale forward chin forward arms forward and stay there Inhale up. Again, only go down as much as you can. Don't go any further than your pain level. One more time. Inhale up. Exhale. I'm going to twist. I'm going to turn my body and my, my back arm is going to go out sideways. And my, my, my arm that's in the front will go hold on to my leg or to my knee or to my chair and do what you can. 
and then look at your free arm there and go as far as you can and keep looking with your eyes. Movement with the eyes is very important because eyes also need the movements. And come back center, arms up, deep inhale, exhale to the other side. And now this arm goes out and keep looking at my arm, my inner arm holds on to anything that will anchor it. Then look back as far as you can. Remember, listen to your body. And arms up again, inhale, and back to, back to cactus. This knee is up, so this elbow will go into the other elbow, like that, and give yourself a nice hug. Doesn't matter if you don't remember which knee is up, and doesn't matter, okay? It's not a strict thing, it's just a few movements, okay? So either you can hold on there, or you can get your arms together and get the back of your arms together, that's fine, or you can go palm to palm. So your legs are crossed in any of those three positions like we talked about and your arms are now crossed too. Okay, so it's a pigeon move, baby pigeon actually. So and then take a breath in, inhale and lift your arms up as much as you can and exhale down. Only do what you can. Inhale up again, exhale down. It's a very convoluted move but a lot of joints and muscles are working here. And then just go one side and back to center, other side back to center and then just come down back straight chin forward chest forward and inhale up and then let go of your arms and like i said it's a baby eagle move free as an eagle right sharp as an eagle and then bring your knees to your chest as close as you can and give it a little love okay a valentine's kiss and shake it all up shake it all up same thing with the other cross here stay here and we'll do all the movements with this or on top of each other hold on here and we'll do, do the moves that i will show you or you can bring your ankle to your knee i repeat this all the time because people do forget also we get new people all the time so i just want to make sure they understand and uh, your knee is uh, uh, your um, your shin is over your thigh your ankle and then toes are pointing forward make sure the whole foot is on the ground my arms, one is on my, on my knee and one is on my shin if I'm in this position. Otherwise, it's always on the knees, okay? Nice and tall, inhale, exhale, chin forward, chest forward. Feel that little pull in your either butt movement or your upper thigh and up, go up again. Inhale, nice and slow, exhale, remember, don't go forward, too forward if it's hurting you. Inhale up, arms go up, exhale slowly. Chin forward, chest forward, arms forward. Inhale, up again. Exhale, forward, 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 forward. Inhale, up again. And this time I'm gonna turn and my free arm goes back. I'm looking at my arm using my eyes and my inner arm is holding on somewhere so that I can get that anchor so I can move more far, further, far away. And come back to again, inhale up. And I do the other arm now, as far as I can go, look at your arm, and as far as you can, and bring your both your arms up. Exhale to cactus, this knee is up, so this elbow will go under in this side. So it's just opposite side. And then I can either hold on here, okay, that's good enough. If you cannot bring it back here, just hold on. Okay, and we'll do all the stuff that we did. And, or you can bring it back, back of your hand, up to the hand, or Pound to pound. Whatever works, whatever works, don't judge yourselves either. Okay? Inhale up, 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 up. Exhale slowly down. One more time. Up, 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 up. Exhale slowly down. Let us twist to one side. Whatever you can do, it won't go very far. Just a little twist. Remember, the twist is good for your back and your spinal cord, as well as for your internal organs. And go down, look down. Inhale up and then release your arms out and away we go. Fly away like an eagle and then bring your knees to your chest. Give it some love if you can reach it. Otherwise, that's okay. Again, shake, shake, shake. Good job. How can I forget? Bring your strap together and hold the strap about two feet apart. Feet on the ground, steadily down. Toes pointing forward and pull all the time you're pulling all the time inhale pull up 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 exhale bring your arms down 
Right down, straight arms if you can. Inhale up again. Up, 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 up. Keep pulling. Feel that strength in your upper arm, lower arm, and your core and your back. And then let's go down. Pull it down with your, your one of the arms and then go back to center. Breathe through it. Pull. Feel that stretch on the side of your body. And then let's come forward. Inhale, forward, down, down. Just bring your arms down. Look forward, straight back. Inhale, up again. Okay, one more time. This time forward, and you're gonna do a twist. So with the outer arm, I'm gonna pull, 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 go as far as I can go, and then back to center. Very good, and then the other side, pull, 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 pull. Very good, and back to center. Bring your arms up, 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 as far up as you can, and then increase the space between your two arms. Bring your, as far as you can, and then if you can, just move it down. It's a good rotation of your arms and bring it forward and back, only if you can. And yes, some of you will go like this and that, that's okay, but be careful not to hurt yourself, all right? The more you do this, the more flexible you get, the more distance you have, the more further you can get. And if you're a frozen arm, you this is a good stretch to do, to make sure that it's moving. It'll hurt, but just keep moving, okay? I know somebody mentioned that. So then you come down, 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 and bring it back to your left. And give yourself a nice little little massage there and shake your feet all right same stretch goes under your feet now all right You're pulling with your arms pushing with your legs let's bring it up inhale push with your legs pull with your arms all right so you feel that strength in your upper arms in your legs in your back and then bring your knees up and down just a little just a little like a rocking motion smile and up now let go of one foot all right so only one foot is up one foot is on the ground i'm at the edge of my chair pulling with my arms pushing with my leg all right inhale up exhale another inhale as much as you can a little bit at a time and if you can't go any further stay there and then bring it down inhale up this time one arm same arm as the same leg. So pulling and pushing going on at the edge of the chair, foot on the ground, nice and solid, straight, toes pointing forward, back straight if possible. And I'm pulling with my arms, pushing with my leg. Take a deep breath in, inhale, exhale, the next breath, inhale. My free arm goes out and I look at, look at my arm and then pull the leg opposite direction. So it's a three point move as far as you can go. And hold your core tight, breathe through it, hold the pose. Look at your arm. Very good, keep looking. And then bring it back to center. Exchange your arm. So opposite arm, opposite leg. Free arm goes out, look at your arm. And, and then you pull the leg across. It won't go very far, but a little bit. And hold your core tight. And then bring it back to center. Knees up and down. Excellent. Let's do the other foot. This time, I want you to just uh, push with one foot and pull with the other foot, I think, in interest of time. So basically, pulling with your foot, uh, pushing with your foot, pulling with your leg. And my foot on the ground is solid, straight, pointing forward. Okay, nice and tall. Free arm, goes out, look at my arm. Exhale, and pull your leg out the other way. Three point pull, foot on the ground is solid down, not on my heel or on my toe. Breathe through it, hold the pose. Very good, hold the pose, but breathe. And then come back center, exchange your arms, opposite arm pulling my leg, and my leg is pushing. Free arm goes out, look at my arm, and exhale, pull it other way. Look at your arm, and then come back center, pull it up again, and down again. Great. Let's do the weights now, okay? All right, if you want to take a drink of water, whatever, take a break, that's up to you. Decide, okay, do what you can. And again, sit at the edge of the chair with the weights. Make sure you're doing some head movements and I will, I will uh, cue you because uh, when you do uh, weights, you usually strain your neck because you, you somehow use your neck to hold on to the weights. Engage your weights. If it's too easy, you can increase. If it's getting difficult, then decrease the weight, okay? And one arm can be different than the other, so you can adjust. Let's put the weights down to the side and bring it up. 
Don't go past your shoulder. Don't go up there. Just shoulder level or below is good. All right. Breathe and look side to side. Walk two, three, four times four, five. Feet on the ground, flat. Six, seven, eight, nine. Last one, ten. Very good. Now bring it to your shoulders and we're going to go raise it up, okay? Again, we're going to look up and down. So in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, last one, ten. Very good. And bring it down to your to your uh, thigh. Lift up one leg up, up, and breathe in and bring it down. Bring your other foot up, up, up. Let the weight do the work. So you feel the weight of the thing on your thigh, not on your knee. And bring it down. Very good. Now bring it forwards and out. One. Again, this is hard. Then just lower, lower your elbows. If it's this is okay. All right. If you want to stretch, you can stretch too. Two. You can stand and do it, and make sure you make your neck, you move your knees. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Last one, ten. Very good. And bring it back to your thigh. Okay, shoulders round. Inhale, exhale. Look up. Down. Now bring up your weights facing each other like that and your upper arm is close to your body. So you're going to go open and close. Okay, so one. Without moving your upper arm. Two. Different, different muscle group moving here. Four. Five. Smile. And move your neck around. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. And last one. Ten. And bring it back to your thigh. Bring it down to the side of your chair. And we're going to go one and the other one. Two. Again, you can move your neck. Very good. And three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Last one, ten. Very good. And bring it down. And shake it out. Shake it out. Shake it out. On your toes, on your heels, toes, heels. All right. Okay. So now we're gonna go um, a little more at the edge of the chair and bend your back straight forward. Look forward. And we're gonna go. Um, no, we're gonna do lift up. So bring your uh, weights close uh, to your legs there and just lift up with your arms. One, two. You can look up and down. Three. Like you're picking up groceries. Four, five, it's a lot of upper arm movement. Six, seven, eight, nine, last one, ten. Very good. One, one leg in the front, one leg in the back. Again, I'm at the edge of the chair. Arms are on the side. And I'm going to just move one arm forward, one arm back. And I look at the back arm. And forward. One, two, like you're going for a walk. Three, slow swing, swinging. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, last one, and ten. Very good. And bring it down and shake it up. And just, uh, just move your, uh, just take one weight. Now only one weight. Again at the edge of the chair. Bring it up, 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 up as far as you can take it. Your uh, hand is near your ear. Bring it back. With your other arm, push your elbow back. Okay, so you're not going to hit your head. You're going to go up. One, two. You can hold on to it throughout. Four, or you can let go. Five, six. You can even move your neck. Seven, eight. Don't hit yourself. Nine. And last one, 10. And bring it down. Other arm. Again, bring it to your shoulder. Bring it up. 
Go back a little bit. With your other arm, push your elbow back a little bit more. And you can hold on or you can let go. But just pull your arms up and down behind your head. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and last one. Ten. Very good. And then Put away your weights and shake it all out, shake it all out. Come to the edge of the chair. Oof. Always running out of time. Okay, so bring your arms down and we're gonna just get up, okay? Inhale, one up, inhale, and exhale down, okay? Now just a little bit of a march there. Move your toes, your, or your, uh, your knees, lift it up, lift up, lift, lift, lift. So a lot of this lifting we'll be doing when we do the dancing. So I don't do everything in the stretches. So we'll do all that. We'll cover that up later. Okay, so just shake it all out. Go behind your chair. Go behind your chair. All right. So I'm going to go to the side so you can see me. But you are going to be like this, right? Like this. And you go on your knee, on your ankle, or on your toes up. And look forward. Shoulders straight. Inhale. Inhale on your toes. Exhale down. One more time. Inhale on your toes. Stay there. Stay there. So I'm going to go on the side so you can see me. Stay there. Very good. Now just go down a bit so the, the, the rise is only about an inch. So your heel is about an inch up above the ground. But I'm on my toes. If you can't do it, just go flat down. Remember, listen to your body. I'm just cueing you, but you have to listen to your own body and yourself. Okay? All right, so I'm still holding on to the chair. I'm on my toes. We're gonna do a stretching of the and balancing. So one arm you can let go and you're holding on with one arm and you can stay there. Feel that stretch in your calf. Hope you're feeling it, right? And then if you want to let go, you can let go of the other arm. So I'm holding on to my chair like that. Either one arm, two arms or no arms, but I'm balancing on my toes. And if you're wobbly, that's good. That means you are using your strength there. That's fine. Stay there, breathe, look forward, and then come down. Go on your heels. Do that stretch again, and ankle. Just rock, rock back and forth. Excellent. One more time. Excellent. Now, if your chair is, uh, if you can move your chair or go in front of your chair, I want you to go down this way today, okay? Or you can stay behind, depending on, either you can hold on here or you can hold on here. Whatever works for you or doesn't work for you, just do what you can. I cannot see all of you, so I don't know. So now I'm gonna put my hand on the, on, the, on the seat of the chair and I'm gonna walk back, walk back as far as I can. Now I can do the same with, by, by staying behind the chair and do the same movement behind the chair or I can go on the seat of the chair. This will give you an extra stretch. Go far back as you can, okay? Look forward, my arms are straight, my legs are straight. I look between my legs, <clears throat> inhale, look up. Exhale, look down. Inhale, look up. Exhale, look down. And then look up again, and then walk back to the middle of the chair. You could have done the same movement this way. We do that all the time. So this is for upper, a little bit more higher, or you could have gone down and done this way, okay? Because all the chairs are different and all the bodies are different, so you have to do different things, all right? So I'm gonna go back this way <clears throat> and go back again. So I'm gonna go in the front there. Then I'm gonna slide one foot back as far as I can take it, okay? And my, my arms are stretched. Now you can do this behind the chair too. Remember, we've done this before. But this is an extra stretch. Hold on to the seat or the back of the chair if you're in the back and go far back as you can. And if once you're done enough stretching, then you just bend your knee and feel that nice stretch in the calf of your leg. And again, remember you can do this at the back of the chair. Right? Look forward, feel that nice stretch, and then go on your toes and back down on your heel. One more time on your toe and back down on your heel. And then just slide it forward. Now take the other foot as far back as you can. Again, you can do this behind. So this one I'm going to do behind, okay? So you can tell. It's the same thing. 
just that the stretch is deeper when you go on the on the side of the chair. So back there, as far as I can go, look forward. And when I wish enough, I can just bend my knee, look forward, and actually also look back. So, so back move too. Nice okay, back inhale. Exhale. Make sure your knee doesn't go past your ankle. Never. And then go down, up, and down. Feel that stretch in your calf. And down. Inhale. Up. Exhale. Down. And then slide forward. Very good. Stay behind your chair again. And I'll go on the side so you can see. Alright. So what I want you to do is uh, hold on to the chair. But I want you to put your uh, heel over your ankle. We're going to do a tree pose. Because tree pose is also good for balancing. And also brings uh, stability in your core. Okay. So we're going to do a heel over ankle. And I can just hold on to the chair. This is fine for people that have not done it before. Now I'm doing it on the side, you're gonna do it in the back, okay? So just stay there with two arms holding, stay there. If you wanna let go one arm, that's fine. Now you again still uh, stay, one arm holding. If you wanna let go, you can let go both arms. And you can bring your hands to heart, okay? Look forward, soft gaze. Inhale, up, 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 up. If you can, otherwise keep holding with one arm or two arms. And then back down, very good. And then shake it up. Now the second thing is to lift your heel onto your shin, not on your knee, between your uh, ankle and your knee. Okay, so I'm gonna move this chair is in my way. You're doing it behind the chair because you need to make sure there is something to hold on to. All right, so I'm gonna go like this, and I can keep holding, or if you want to let go one arm, you can, and look forward. Soft gaze, and then bring up. If you want to let go both arms, you go straight. Look forward, soft gaze, soft gaze, soft breaths, and stay there. You'll feel a little bit of wobbliness, that's fine. The brain is uh, getting a little scared, and then you go up, 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 if you can, and bring it down. To challenge yourself, you can move your knee even further back so that there's a little bit more stretch. All right, the third, of course, is going right up on top, and we won't do that. But the third one is so one is here, two is here, third is right on top of your knees, not on your knee, but on top. All right, if you want to try by just lifting it up and holding and doing it, that's fine, or you can let go one arm, two arms, and just. Steady, steady, steady. Inhale, exhale, breathe. And then go up, inhale, and Okay? You don't have to try that one. You want to do the second one. Okay, so now I use the other foot. Ankle over knee. So the other foot is nice and solid, strong down. I can hold and leave it there. Or I can let go one arm and do it this way. That's fine. Or I can let go both arms. Try this because this is easier, easiest. And the chair is always there, so if you are wobbly, you can always hold on with one arm, okay? Remember, listen to your body, okay? And then go up again, inhale, exhale again, very good. Now you can move your, uh, all right, so bring your uh, your knee, uh, your uh, heel over your shin, not on your, on your knee, but just between your knee and your ankle. And you can stay there, stay there. Hold on, stay there. Hold on with your chair, stay there. Or you can let go one arm. So let go one arm, I'm still holding with one, one arm. So I can stay there again, breathe. Just raise yourself, breathe slowly, feel it. Feel everything we are doing. Just don't do it automatically. Because everything we're doing is using some part of your muscle, bone, your tendons, mind, okay? And then you can let go if you want to, if you want to, otherwise stay where you are. See, one side is always stronger than the other. More balance on one side. Breathe, soft gaze, soft gaze. Breathe in, look in front of you. Not up or down, but just in front. Yeah, I'm steady. On the other side is better for me. And you can go up even if you want to. Inhale and exhale down. Very good, and shake it up, shake it up. All right, just lift up your legs up, 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 as far as you can. And this time, you're lifting it up 
Hold on to the chair. Up. And now this time I want you to lift up your leg. If you can, just leave it there. Or if you want to grab it, you can. So I'm going to turn again so you can grab it. If you have grabbed it, then you can go forward as far as you can or back. If you have not grabbed it, you're still holding to the chair. I can still go forward and lift up my leg in there. Okay? So either one is okay. Let's do the other foot. Let's go up down first a bit. And now I'm going to go this way. I'm going to lift it up. I can stay there. I'm still holding. Stay there. Or grab it. Bring it towards your butt. And then just go forward, back straight, look forward. And feel that nice stretch in your thigh. And up down. If you cannot grab it, then you can keep holding and just go like that. That's good enough. Whatever you can, even if it doesn't lift that much, little bit is okay. Do what you can. Little movements help to get to bigger movements. All right? Okay. All right, let's do... It was family day yesterday, so we'll do a family song uh, for you guys, okay?
good. Okay, have a seat, have a seat. It's a lot of work out there. <clears throat> okay, what's the time? All right. So we're just going to do one little thing and then we'll go into meditation, okay? So just uh, calm down, breathe normal, take a deep breath in, inhale, and exhale out. Inhale again, inhale, and exhale out. And let's do one curry of this and then we're going to stop and do meditation. Just circle, circle, breathe, smile, close your eyes. No blaming. Give it up. so much going on it's all about the mind so let's cool down sit uh, sleep whatever is comfortable for you we are just gonna go slowly into uh, guided meditation all right and again remember to breathe normal to relax close your eyes and just enjoy it all right just for yourself Hello, and welcome to this short guided meditation to help you step away from the stress of daily life. I'm Sarah Raymond from the Mindful Movement. Thank you for joining me today. Start by settling into a comfortable position. Gently close your eyes. Notice your attention is shifting away from the sights, smells, tastes, sounds, and feelings around you. And you begin to bring your focus inward. Notice the natural rhythm of your breath. Feel your abdomen expand with each inhale and feel the air as it leaves your body on each exhale. Right now, in this one of a kind, irreplaceable, blessed moment in time. There is nothing more important than the present. Scan your muscles for any tension and stop when you come across a part of your body that is clenching. Take a moment to honor this tightness, breathing in a breath of love and self-nurturing. And then breathing out all of the stress that is no longer serving you.
Repeat this process of scanning and releasing tension until your entire body feels in harmony. If at any time later in the day, you notice the clenching feeling coming back, simply repeat this practice of breathing in love and breathing out tension. And through your breath, you will be anchored again in this present moment. Now take a moment to scan for any clutter in your mind. Your mind is like your desk and you are more productive when it is organized and efficient. Notice if your thoughts are disorganized, darting from worry to worry, or if they are neat and purposeful. Is there anything you could put away or get rid of to make your daily life easier and less stressful? Now picture yourself clearing off your desk, putting things back where they belong, and getting rid of things you don't need. Allow the image of you organizing your desk to serve as a visual representation of you clearing your unnecessary stress. After clearing the clutter in your mind, your head feels in flow and your thoughts come and go more calmly. You can now go through the rest of your day feeling more relaxed. When you are ready, take one more deep slow breath and then allow your eyes to open. You are now ready to take on the demands of daily life and you have the ability to clear the clutter again whenever it piles up. Thank you for taking time to practice this meditation. Bring your hands to heart. Inhale, up, 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 and exhale slowly down, arms go back, inhale again, up, 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 up. palms together, exhale, down, touch your hearts, center, twist to one side, namaste, yale madad, and thank you very much for attending today's class.